hola YouTube and ho 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 it's Christmas time and I am Domino and welcome to episode 52 of our Pokemon Ultra Moon Expanded Let's Play. In the last episode we only did two bat- no we did five battles. No we did four battles. Um, a couple Team Skull grunts. Guzma almost ended us for the first time. And then as you can see in front of us Ultra Recon Squad. If you want to check that out click the icon up at the top of the screen. In today's episode, we're hopefully going to finish up this Aether Paradise stuff and be on to the next thing. So if you're excited for today's episode, and if you're excited to be a part of the domination of the Pokemon community, go ahead and hit the like button down below and do subscribe if you're new. Now, here we go with a speed team recap. What's this? Wait, wait, this will be the first episode of the day. I don't care. But whoa, what is up in my hat? Oh, hold on. Hold on. Wait, oh, backwards in there. Okay. First up, we have Jet the Umbreon, Button Z the Sidueye, Arukeni Mon the Araquanid, Negative Vibes the Snorlax, Frisco the Oracorio, and Brock the Gold. Um, we are going to lead with Buttons now. Oh, I don't know how long we'll be able to do that. Okay, so I was going to look around here. So we've all, we've seen the first taste of our uh, wait did I heal? No, I did not actually. Darn it. Okay, so we saw the first taste of newness by uh, by Ultra Recon being in there. I was not expecting that at all. I don't know who I was expecting to be inside. It was not them. I suppose if I would have thought about it, like that's so obvious. But, I didn't think about it, dang it, so that's what we did. Now, I'm hoping, and I think we're probably going to be getting some more new stuff. Uh, we're still in the same recording session as last time. I still haven't eaten, so I apologize in advance for all of the complaining about how hungry I am. Um, but at least it's the middle of the day and I shouldn't be yawning any. No, I always yawn in every video. I always yawn. Alright, going in. The stare off. Ah, Domino, it's been a while since we last saw you. What? You you came? You actually came to help me, Domino? Thank you. Thank you. Hmm. So you know one another. A gifted young trainer like Domino, and he bothers with someone like you? How disappointing. I don't need your approval, mother, or your permission. I will save Cosmog. Why? Did you say such incomprehensible things? Calling me mother, I don't have any children. Certainly not any wretched children who would run off and reject my love. So tell me how you so tell me how you'll save that Pokemon. What can you do, Lily? You failed to convince me to listen to you. You don't even have the strength of a trainer. The only thing that you've ever done on your own is steal someone else's research material. It's so terribly unattractive. But know that my fathom, fathomless love will save even someone like you when I protect this entire world from darkness. Protect this world? Mother, what is it you're trying to do? Is that what you want, Nebby? Is that what you want to sacrifice Cosmog for? That's right. I will force Cosmog to use its power, and it may very well die. But if it will save the world for all of my beloved Pokemon, then that is what I will do. Oh. I don't remember this. Lily, I'll be using Cosmog. Oh, you'll be using the Cosmog you stole for a great purpose. You have kept it safe until now, and for that, I thank you. Gone! She said, Boop. Mother! Domino, I really am happy that you came after me, but. But I. I want to save Nebby, but I don't know what I should really do. It's easy. We check the room, and then we run up. Oh, I was like, Lily? Really? Oh my gosh, look at all these cryogenically frozen Pokemon! What is this place? If you want to see, you'd better hurry this way. What if I don't want to see? I could have came into here. Darn it, I could have done something. That's fine. <clears throat> got a Slowpoke, you got a Starmie. 
But, uh, what's that thing? What is that thing? What do you think? It's my private collection. My precious babies. They will all be preserved for eternity here. The Pikachu back there. You have a Pukumuku. Next to the Pikachu back there. <clears throat> I still want to know what's in this left one. But if the light is stolen from this world, then I won't be able to love my babies any longer. So I will open the Ultra Wormhole and take on the Pokemon that would steal our light. I will capture even poor Necrozma. And things are different. Whoa, Domino! Al, you don't even know what you're getting yourselves into. Whoa, and Lily! Man, I'm so glad to see you're okay. Ah, sweet Hal, you, so you came too. I know better to, than to expect much from the members of the Ultra Recon Squad, but really? Couldn't Guzma stop even a few children? Listen to us, please! Don't open the Ultra Wormhole! We can't lose anyone else, not like we lost Father! Okay, hold on. You think I've forgotten? As if I could forget what happened that day. I hate the Ultra Wormholes from the depth of my being, but that's why I will be the one to go. I will not let anyone stop me, not even my own daughter and son. What? Daughter? Son? Wait! You were all the family? Perhaps once we were, sweet Hal, but those wretches beside you left me. But I will still save them. With all the endless love of the president of the Aether Foundation, as someone tasked with the protection of all Pokemon. I was able to open the Ultra Wormhole using just the gases we extracted from Cosmog when it was in Aether Paradise, wasn't I? Oh no! You can't be trapped in there! And now I have Cosmog itself inside this crate here. If I use its entire body, I should be able to control the Ultra Worm. Please, stop! If Nebby isn't, if you make it use up too much of its power, you don't understand what will happen. Like when we ran away from the Paradise, it couldn't even move for ages after that. If you use too much power, it will die! I, Lusamine. I, I am Lusamine. What you doing? Oh! Oh no! Oh no! It's time. It's time! Oh goodness gracious. Alright, let's see the differences. Wait, why did Gladion go to his signature stance? What's happening? What's happening? This is not how it usually is. Wait, what? No, it was in the first game. Oh? You're trying to resist, aren't you, Cosmog? But why? For Lily's sake, perhaps? <laughs> How gallant you are. You'll love Lily, don't you? <laughs> perhaps Gladion and Lily have both grown up a bit since leaving Aether. But I still won't allow them to interfere with this. If I'm going to protect the Pokemon of Alola, I must go through the Ultra Wormhole and meet this Necrozma. I will have Cosmog open the Ultra Wormhole, no matter what. I will use the power of its cage to ensure that it cannot resist any further. There you are. Mother, if you disappear too... Now you worry for me? Fine, Gladion. I will do what I must to put your worries to rest by demonstrating my strength in battle. Let's see, you. Uh, yes, you, Domino, you will battle me. If I can defeat even you, then that should silence Lily's last objections as well. Of course we're battling Lusamine. Wait, we're battling Lusamine? Okay, we're battling Lusumi. Is it? Did we? I don't know how we kill this thing. I forgot I'm leading with this.
I forgot to get healing items. Oh, crud. Okay. Should be able to manage this a little bit. Ouch, okay. Um. The only way I think I'm gonna get this thing out of here is like this. How did I know it was gonna work? Hit it up! Let's go! Alright. Now, is that stupid? Use my Z move on the first Pokemon? When I don't know what else she has. This Clefable is just, this thing's a threat. Okay, good, it's gone. So now I can switch. I can switch freely between the Pokemon to make sure I have the right person. Lopany. Lopany is just normal type, right? I think it's just normal type. I don't think it's fighting type. I'm pretty sure that's just in like Insurgents and other hacks like that. But this thing gets the normal type. Level 47. Dang it. Fire punch? What the heck? That did not do as much as I needed it to. But that's okay to an extent. Okay. I'm gonna go body slam. I don't really want her to heal. Are you just gonna show me all of your moves? Is that, is that what your plan is here? Okay, we got that. We got the paralysis. I'm gonna hold on to my brick break. Hold on to brick break. Easy punch. No, Snorlax. 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 Thank you. Alright. Frisco, I need you to be big here. I need you to I need you to be a big, big girl here, Frisco. Go for it. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. Perfect. Should be good. Should be good. Should be good. That won't heal. Yo, oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Go for Revelation Dance again. He's got, I mean, I'm four levels below Lusami. That's wild. I load it. Oh, this is risky. Water types are scary. Water types are not good for our team. Did you chill? Yes! I was so hoping I was gonna get it! No, you still- Brock, why are you so slow? Alright, hold on. Button should be able to finish this up. I don't think Decidueye is, is that slow. I don't think we're that slow. But is Razor Leaf... Okay, good. Razor Leaf is strong enough. And now you're going to have something that Brock would have been good against. Early game. Look at this. Look at this team coverage. Shoutouts to Lusamine for a freaking good team. Making me sw switch everywhere. Don't put me to sleep, though. Why? Okay, that's fine. Whatever. 
It's cool. Because what you don't know is that Arukemon is the hacks goddess. Arukemon hacks her way out of everything. Watch this. Parafusion, I ain't even worried about it. I am not even worried. We're even going to hit through and get a critical hit. Watch. Watch. Watch this critical hit. Wait. Wait for it. Oh, I thought it was a crit. Okay. Yeah! Ah! Uh, how? How can you be so awful? 11,000? Did we have Umbreon in at all? <laughs> oh, Domino, you are strong. You should carry on with your island challenge. <clears throat> Her voice is not meant to be growly. Perhaps I made you feel uneasy about my ability to handle this task. I will be fine. I won't be alone. Kuzma, with me. Yes, ma'am! I am off to capture Necrozma. Wait, let me go! My partner Noel was born to be a beast killer. I've trained all this time to be able to battle on the other side of that ultra wormhole. You are a sweet boy. But do not worry, you can leave it all in my hands. Children really sh would all be much happier if they'd only listen to the adults around them. You're not wrong, but I don't agree with what you're doing. But I do like the differences that we're seeing. But if you kill... If you kill Cosmo... Look at that Ultra Wormhole! Now look at the one behind me. Wait, wait, I need to go this way. The lighting is kind of weird. Look at Guzma! Look at Guzma hopping through there! My guy! My guy hopped through there. He hopped. He jumped. He said, oh! Oh, oh, he like Matrix through it. Mother, why? What's that thing? Nebby, are, are you all right? Nebby? What is it? Or what is it? Or what is it? Whatever, whatever Gladion's voice is. It changed forms and it's not moving. Come on, let's get out of here. Nothing good can happen here. Did you grab the thing? Did you grab the thing? Hope you grabbed the thing. You were all unharmed. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, maybe. But there's still a ton we have to do. There's the President and Guzma. We disappeared into the Ultra Wormhole. Not to mention Cosmog and why it stopped moving like that. Even if she is like that, Lusamina is still our mother. We can't just leave her in some unknown world on her own, even if it is to capture Necrozma. And if she doesn't come back... The words we just heard, is that the truth? Lusamine, what kind of human is she? She acted so kind and caring, and yet beneath the surface she thought of none but herself. Was this all for her own selfish satisfaction? Or does she simply feel too much responsibility to take everything upon herself to fix? What is she thinking? What an incomprehensible individual. Though that is much, uh, though that is much as we had heard. In truth, we are not strong. We have not need to be. We use technology to resolve any problem that arises in our lives. That is why we had a discussion finding some human we could send through to our world to battle with Pokemon on our behalf. What was that you just said? You said you were going to send someone back to your world. You know some other way to open an Ultra Wormhole? The Altar on Pony. The Pokemon that appears there is known as the Beast that Calls the Moon. We borrowed such a Butte's Brute's power ourselves to come here too, Alola. But to think that those two who hope to capture Necrozma on their own, do the people of this world truly have so much confidence in their strength in Pokemon battle? If Necrozma awakens, it will hunger for light, and it will descend upon Alola to take it. Our world, our Megalopolis, is a world without any light left in it, after all. We know that darkness once felt... What? We know that the darkness that once felt upon Alola was driven back in light... That is what the old legends and myths tell us, but in all our investigations, we still have not learned what the light was exactly. Can you 
Interesting. The changes are real. Lunch will have to be quick, because I'm about to I'm about to play through the rest of this game. Miss Lily, if you and your friends would like to get some rest first, I have prepared a few beds in the staff's residential quarters. We'll take you up on that. Yeah, I'm beat. I think I'll stay here. I want to spend time trying to understand what it is my mother might have been thinking. Wild. Oh my goodness. The next day. So I'm just in Lily's room. Oh. I remember that. Domino? Miss Lily is waiting outside if you're ready to meet her. Alright, let's go ahead and save. We are going to continue just a little bit because I do believe we'll have a break. I think there will be a noticeable break that we get after we finish this scene out here. Ooh, it is nighttime. Ooh, it is nighttime. <gasps> oh my god! Is that Lily? Yeah! Looking fresh! Looking fresh! Looking fly! Okay, I don't need an every angle up and down of Lily. I picked these clothes up in Melly. You think they suit me? Sure do. Look at her ugly smile. Ugh. Oh, thank you. Oh, Domino, thank you. When I say ugly smile, I just mean like they could have done a better job with this. Like she seems, you know, she seems really reserved and really shy right here, but they don't need that. Just let her smile. I feel like there's so much I have to do now to save Nebby, to save my mother. I, I want to be like you, Domino. I want to be strong enough to face any trial. That's why I'm going to try my hardest. This is my Z-powered form. Yeah, you got it, Lily. Can you stop? Can you stop? Yeah, thank you. So this is where you were. I found this downstairs. It's the sun flute. Apparently an artifact from Alola's past. They say it's to be played under the sun's light. The sun flute and the moon flute, when sounded together, it said they can call the legendary Pokemon. It is, if you believe in old myths, anyway. It's like the members of the Ultra Recon Squad said, right? If the legendary Pokemon really does exist, we might be able to reach that other world where Necrozma is. Here, take this with you. Okay. It's a Master Ball. It can catch any Pokemon without fail. I'm counting on you to save my family now. This is the least I can do. But what are you going to do, Gladion? Deal with this mess. I've got to clean up Aether Paradise. All I wanted was to be able to protect everybody, together with Noel. Maybe I couldn't do that, but I'll make sure that this place at least stays safe. The foundation that our mother loved. Oh, I thought there was more to that. Domino! I see you over there, Hal. Just walk over and say hi. Hey, and it's Lily, isn't it? What happened to you? Yes, it's me. Now I'm ready to use my full force, too. No, are amazing! That's it, I've decided! What? I keep getting saved by Domino and my partner Primarina, right? If I keep being like this and I don't change, then I'm gonna get left behind by you all! I really wanted to save Lily and Cosmog, but my partner and I both felt that way and we were in sync, we were so much stronger! That's how it felt to me, so I'm gonna try to chase that feeling down again, together with Primarina and my team! So, our family drama ended up changing the kind of trainer you want to be. Sorry for getting you dragged into our mess. Sure, you might have been a part of it, but in the end, the only one that's going to make the change is me. And besides, Miss Lusamine is out there trying to keep a little safe, right? I knew she was a good person. I guess. She's always convinced that what she's doing is right. And she's really kind of selfish, but... But I think she really just wanted to find... Uh, to find her father, who disappeared into an ultra wormhole. Ow, thank you for your kind words. I'm really happy you feel that way. I can get you to the next island, at least. Pony Island. I'll wait for you at the docks. Come on, Domino. Let's show the world what we can really do. Woo! That's a lot of talking. I think... Wait. That's quite a change. Uh... Lily? That's right. She looks full of energy, and it's not just because of the change in clothes. 
Everyone's waiting for us where the boats come in. Yeah, I know where to go. Hey, can I get some experience ones? Hope. Oh. Cool. Didn't want experience ones anyway. Did not want... Alright, let's go ahead and save and let's go ahead and call that an episode. That was pretty eventful and the changes are in full bloom. It's all about Necrozma and the Ultra Wormhole failed when Lusamine tried to open it up. And then she and Guzma, Guzma let through that Ultra Wormhole. They're going to catch Necrozma. Interesting. Um, so wait, so does she not have her obsession with Nihilego anymore? I guess we're going to have to find out in future episodes. If you did enjoy today, and if you're excited to be a part of the domination of the Pokemon community, make sure you hit the like button down below and do subscribe if you're new. We will see you in the next episode of our Pokemon Ultra Moon Expanded Let's Play. Until then, have a blessed day.